Well, I'm Jerry, and I'm bringing you another episode of What's Broke Today. The today, what we've got is a Grasshopper 721. It's a front mount mower. Has 61 inch mower deck. Um, Kubota gasoline motor. And this has the Eaton Gemini 771 transaxles in it. Now, we're not really going to tear into this mower, but what I was going to do is a video on uh, a problem I've seen on a few of these. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're probably going to determine that this transaxle is bad, that the uh, hydrostatic drive has failed. And what we really need to do is actually an inspection and I've already fixed it on this mower and it was on this side and we lost right hand transmission drive and, and it wasn't like it went out all at once it uh, you know started getting where the right side was slower and slower and slower he had um, or him and his brother actually serviced and changed the fluid in the transaxle and I didn't get it until he's finally down to the point where the right side would just barely, you know, move. I mean, it was hard to drive because you couldn't, you know, with just the left side going, I always wanted to do in circles, turning to the right. So, of course, we figured we was going to be replacing the transaxle. Well, when I get here, you know, whenever I got one that, and it's easier to see on the left side because these two are basically the same image. Our same transaxle, it's just whether you put the uh, get the planetary drive is going out the left or the right side of it. You know, but swapping them left to right isn't quite that simple. But, you know, the basic drive unit is the same. But on the side here, we've got this deal. And this is our bypass valve. So we can push it. And see this, you pull it back and there's a, you got to have this. Uh, I didn't get all the way up. That's got to be all the way up, you know, because let's see, this will slide up and down. But it's got to be all the way up. Then you pull this back, and there's a hole in this bracket that this will hook into. When it's hooked in there, you can actually push the mower. Just take the parking brake off, and it will roll. Well, when I started out, and of course it was on the other side over here and this one of course it, it moves nice and free you know some of these when they get age on them this somehow gets the shaft where it goes into the aluminum case down here gets rusty and gets hard to move well see when I started on this one uh, this arm I would go to I went to move it into bypass just to see how it roll and the left side, of course, just like it is today, now get that all the way up, slide, turn it back, and put it in its hole, and that worked fine. When I went to the uh, other side over here on the right, as soon as I went to pull this, it wouldn't move. You know, the the little rod would move in the where it goes through this little shaft coming out, but. You know, it would just barely move the shaft. So, I ended up pulling the four bolts out and popping the top off with the filter. And we'll go to a, a transaxle that's out of another unit. And I'll show you what I found inside. Alright, well we're talking about these Eaton transmissions. Um, now this is a version for a grasshopper. And... The problem, you know, you run into one of these that will, um, you gradually start losing drive on one side. And to give you an indication if what I'm talking about is your problem, this thing that you're released so you can push it, your bypass. Now see this one, the bypass works. I can flip the rod back, hook it in place. And it, you know, it functions like I want it to. Now, now, if this lever isn't moving, 
like it should. If it's stuck all the way in the forward position, then we there's five bolts holding this top on. And of course there's a version of this that does not have an oil filter. But it'll still have this rod on the outside. Alright. We take our five bolts out and Pop that up off there and when we look down in here you'll notice when we move this this comes across and these little down in here we got one two of these that are the bypasses and in the center of them is a like a ball bearing and when you pull this up, these little pins on these arms push the ball bearings down, which allow the oil to freely bypass. Well, those things, I've seen them come loose. And when they do, now when I found them loose, I just took a screwdriver. I just went down in here and gently... You know, because you can get on the edge of that and peck it with the hammer because there's, you got two flats like you could put a wrench on it and then the ends are curved. We well, can get down on that and hit those flats with a straight bladed screwdriver and a hammer, turn them and tighten them back down. Then, you know, if you wanted to, I mean, I don't. I don't think you'd ever get a socket on them, so I don't, you could unscrew the nut and take the shaft out, but I don't, I don't have a socket that fits them, so this is all I do to tighten those things up, because if one of them backs out, it'll, it'll back out enough that it'll get up against that pin and push that ball bearing down when you don't want it to and then it'll start bypassing oil um, all the time and of course you really should get a new gasket which you can still buy gaskets for these um, we can actually buy OEM and aftermarket gaskets so with as many things that's not available because I've got this here today because I bought this unit because I needed a final drive and final drive brand new parts um, unless you get lucky and find someone that's got some or it, you can buy them you're stuck with used and of course when you put that on you want to I just put that back on because I don't know if I'll ever need this because I don't know that I've ever had one of these go out. Everything I've had has been the final drives went out. So, and of course this is out of a grasshopper. You know, the rod that goes over and for your arms. And then of course your pulley on the front. And of course we can see these transmissions and other mowers. But this here is an old um, Encore, which I mean, the, probably the biggest difference I notice with this, um, you know, compared to the the uh, Grasshopper, is just you know a little bit difference in how this linkage is hooked up. But I mean, it's the same transmission, I mean, same hubs on the end. I would almost bet that. These out of a uh, Encore would fit in a uh, Grasshopper without any problem. Just have to change a couple things. 
but see here we've got that see here we've got the piece sticking out the side that this doesn't have the rod in it and the other side um, it looks like somebody made one out of a bolt and I'm gonna bet that this the bolts fell out at some time or another and they had to I get where you can see where I'm pointing these uh, bolts fell out at some time you guys were it got stuck in recording in the wrong angle but yeah I mean sometime or another I'm gonna guess that the bolts fell out for that that bracket was on because it's got other bolts screwed in there with nuts to tighten them up and a lot of times what happens those bolts come loose and it wallers out the holes so they put a longer bolt in and bottom it out and then use the nut to tighten it up otherwise you'd have to probably pull it clear out of the unit and uh helicoil coil the holes which you know like here brackets in the way you can even get in there and drill so but yeah that's an encore and i've also these have, i've seen these in uh uh, some of the old Toros that um, they're good transmissions worst complaint I ever get out of them is they're noisy they whine really bad so but yeah that suggests but yeah I mean if you ever come across one that's not driving check these and make sure because you know if you look you know that, that the top plate is flat here and look at this and make sure it's that angle toward the front about 1 to 130 on the clock and then put a pin like this one we'd stick a pin in it and you know if you can if you can move this back like I'm doing here right here you know if it moves like that then there's no need in pulling it apart because what I'm talking about not your problem but if that moves just a little bit or don't move at all, that's the first thing I do is pull those top covers off and check those uh, dump valves and make sure they haven't backed up out of there because no telling, I bet you there's been quite a few of these replaced because of that and nobody took it apart to figure out why it quit working. Yep, and that'll conclude another episode of What's Broke Today that apologize for my voice i got kind of a sore throat today and i think it's this cool weather moving in but you know if you have trouble you know, with these because these are eaten and they're 771 transaxles check those dump valves if you're having trouble with them not moving and uh i appreciate you watching uh always take the thumbs up for a like uh feel free to subscribe to my channel because they'll tell them what you're going to see next on what's broke today thank you